these are the strangest TikTok conspiracies that you never knew. Trust me. The bodies of the Nephilims turned into mountains. It is known that when fallen angels mate with humans, they end up producing offspring that in the Bible are referred to as the Nephilims. These creatures are a powerful group of people that are said to bear insane strength and are huge in size. However, somewhere in the history of humanity, they all just vanished. Now, this might sound crazy, but there is a theory that it was during the flood of Noah where the majority of the Nephilims were petrified and their bodies eventually became the mountains that we see today. Over the course of history, there are references to this, like in the 1948 speech given by Abraham Lincoln, talking about a species of extinct giants whose bones fill the mountains of America, or that hikers who hiked up mountains and caves say it resembles a giant human shape. So, is this proof that? Yo, I've heard both of those theories, the one by Abe Lincoln and the one about the mountains. So, there's a guy on um, YouTube, I'm gonna post his link right here. He does this all the time, talking about petrified mountains, right? And he'll show you the mountain and show you the face and the nose and it, you know, it's kind of hard to not see it once he shows you it. And then the one with Abe Lincoln, when he says that the mounds of America are filled with the bones of giants, right? If you go back into history, you'll see that they, they dug up some graves in America, some of those mounds, and those giants seem to be about a little over six feet. You know, it's like a basketball player. You know, if, if you stand next to Kevin Durant, you're gonna believe he's a giant as well. So I believe those are also considered giants. The man who flew over Antarctica for the first time had a message that he couldn't get through to us. This is Admiral Richard E. Byrd, and he flew over Antarctica for the first time, and what he saw was insane. He wrote down everything he saw in his journal, which was kept hidden for a long time until one day someone went into his old collections and found it there. I think you could buy this journal. He wrote down that he was flying north, and what he saw was a mountain range. So he went over to it, and after he crossed it, he said he saw this green valley with like a river or a stream running through it. As he got closer, he said he saw forests on the side of the mountain, and he also wrote down, there should not be any green land here. He even said the light was very strange there, and he couldn't see the sun. Outer space, y'all. He says he descends down and starts to see grass. And then in the distance, he sees a huge animal. And at first, he can't tell what it is, but as he gets closer, he claims he saw a mammoth. There's some Ice Age type stuff. As he keeps flying, he sees building-like structures, and when he gets closer, he realizes it's a city. At this point, he was probably just in shock and disbelief because he said, this is impossible. Like, there's no way this is happening right now. He said he reported everything back to base camp. And from what I've read, he wanted to share it with us, but the government wanted him to keep it confidential, so he couldn't. But on his own time, Richard came up with the hollow earth theory, that there is civilizations in the earth. He thinks the north and south pole lead to a civilization inside the earth. His journal went public in 1965, and now there's so many different theories about this. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it could be real or do you think it was just a made up story? Comment down below. There will be a number of expeditions that will follow, I think, uh, year after year, the bottom of the world, because the government has really become interested. Yo, what's your thoughts on this? Hollow Earth versus Flat Earth, right? He's saying that the Earth's hollow, that, you know, once you fly across the pole, you go against, like, this gravitational field and magnetism and then you come down and around and now you're going underneath this way or whatever so that's the hollow earth theory then you got the flat earth theory where it's all flat right what if it's a little bit of both right what if you go out you know if you travel south and you go past the antarctic ice wall right and you keep going and there's more land that way and more and more land but when you go north right at this spot in the north pole to where you do kind of go in and go around and now you're underneath in some type of way or there's something down there in the middle. I don't know. Y'all let me know. You know, it's even more weird is if you take a picture of a $1 bill on the back. It looks like an alien. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you actually, well, you turn the, you turn the contrast all the way Man, up. It's crazy. And yeah, the contrast reveals an alien head and the face, the eyes, everything. It's kind of, 
It's kind of genius. What's in your pocket? Yeah. Roswell. Mm -hmm. What's in your pocket? What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? I'll go. The conspiracy behind Wayfair. So I remember when this first was going on, um, a lot of people were all up in the air about it. Some people believed it. Some people didn't believe it. And I happen to be one of those people that really didn't believe it. I thought there was no way that this huge corporation would use their website and mm. certain items and certain coupon codes to possibly sex traffic kids. So I really never thought too much into it um, until one day something happened that actually changed my mind. So this happened about a year ago. Um, so I work for a pretty well-known bank and I remember we would always have this older lady come in and anytime she came in, she would always do a cash deposit and immediately do a wire transfer. So one day I got a chance to help her and I remember she did the cash deposit, which was like $13,000 um, all in cash Balling. and immediately wanted to do a wire transfer. So when I started to help her, I remember the account number was written down on like a small piece of paper and the amount. So she was sending about 12,900 um, and like whatever cents to this account number. So I got to the part where I needed to type in who it was going to and she told me it was going to Wayfair. And at first I really didn't think too much into it because she did have a business account and I figured, well, maybe she's buying new furniture for her office or whatever. So for after we were done, um, I started to go through her previous wire transactions just to see where all these other wires were going that she did prior. And they were all going to Wayfair. There was like six or seven different wires that she was doing in the past like 60 days. And that's when I changed my mind. I, I knew that there was no fair. way that this person that is always uh. doing cash deposits and immediately doing a wire transfer afterwards to Wayfair, sending them thousands of dollars in two months was buying furniture. There was no way. And I remember shortly after I reported the account um, just for like secondary review or whatever. And next thing I know, she never comes in again. I never see her again, ever. Yo, that makes me want to look into that way for your conspiracy The theory. guy that predicted Queen Elizabeth's death. Bro. Yeah, that's crazy. It was a Twitter tweet, and basically he said, the queen will die on September the 8th of 2022. And then the crazy thing about him is that later after that, bro, he basically said, so a major world announcement will be made impacting a former president on November 18th, 2022. What do you think it is? Bro. History the velocity of Atlantis might have just been found in the Mauritanian desert. Cons Don't look so surprised. You knew it was going to be me. Firstly, it wasn't just found. This is one of the most well-documented geologic features in the entirety of the Sahara right. Desert. It is quite literally known as the Eye of the Sahara because of how impressive it is. Coincidentally, being almost the exact size as Atlantis was described to be. This is a running trend that we're going to see through this video. It's where this person will say something and it is wrong. It's a little hard to tell here because it's a satellite view, but the Richot structure is about 25 miles in diameter. Or about 40 kilometers in diameter if you live in a country that sees healthcare as a basic human right. Since Plato <laughs> obviously did not use imperial or metric, he describes Atlantis as as being about 3,000 stadia in diameter. Now, since one stadia is around 600 feet, that would mean that Atlantis works out to be about 350 miles in diameter, which is about 550 kilometers if you live in a country that lost the space race. So either way, when you say that this is almost the same size as what Plato described Atlantis to be, I say you are definitely wrong. Rodidus, who was tasked with the job of compiling the most accurate maps of his time, he places Atlantis in the same area as the structure. Herodotus never made a map. Like, never. seriously, he n never actually made a map. You are so bafflingly wrong about this that I can barely even wrap my head around it. The map which you are referencing was based off of the writings of Herodotus, and does not say Atlantis, it says Atlas. <sighs> but I'll give you a gold sticker for participation. Also, the fact that you trust a map which is based off of the writings of a Greek historian who lived 2,500 years ago more than modern archaeological and scientific evidence is really sad. With Atlantis described as having an opening to the south and an abundance of elephants, the opening can clearly be seen on satellite and depictions of elephant carvings litter the area. There's pictures of elephants near it? Well, Jesus Christ on a bike, it must be Atlantis. Is that seriously how far these conspiracy theorists have to reach? If this were an actual notable discovery, we'd be based 
based on like, oh yeah, we found the ruins of, you know, countless buildings in the Richdot structure. It would not be based on, oh, there is a cave painting of the same animal that Plato said lived near Atlantis. This is one of those videos that I'm pretty sure was just greenlit by a corporate shill to use as clickbait. With thumbnails like this and this variety of topics, I really don't think this person actually believes a damn word that's coming out of his mouth, which is no less dangerous than an actual conspiracy theorist. It's just funny. But it's a damn shame because the Richdot structure he's talking about here actually has some unbelievable history around it, including history of human habitation. But since he won't, I can make a video about it if you guys want. But for now, I can't do this anymore. I have to go take a cold shower. But I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you like what I do here, feel free to give me a follow. And if you'd like to see my more long-form archaeological and conspiracy debunking videos, make sure to check me out on YouTube. Link to that is in my bio. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter for a more personal look at my life. Remember to stay curious, stay inquisitive, and most importantly, remember that the- My mans need to work at an auction. He talk fast. This is one of the strangest mysteries we've ever seen on the internet. So if you've watched YouTube over the past couple of years, you might remember an account by the name of 2020 Vision. If you were to go to the 2020 Vision YouTube channel, you would see a series of videos with random celebrities listed. Each video featured an eye that would blink showing a year, a month, and a date. And here's where the videos got creepy. If you looked through the videos, they were all celebrities who had passed away in 2020. And with the eye, it would show the exact date that they passed. Which honestly doesn't seem like much. But the videos were uploaded hmm. all the way back in 2017. And here's an example oh, of what one of the videos looked like. For a time, this took the internet by storm because soon after, even more videos were uploaded that became correct in 2021. But the creator of the account did actually come out and explain everything. Like and follow for part two. Yo, that just makes me believe again that history is already written right especially with the kobe thing right i got a short go over to my shorts and check out this video i'll post it right here go look at that video and it shows that they already predicted kobe bryant crashing in a helicopter like they predicted it on a cartoon years before so it's crazy here's some of the greatest conspiracy theories of all time part four the grinch has a well-known backstory about hating christmas However, eventually in the movie, his heart grows three sizes and he loves Christmas once again. But this story may continue longer than we think. It is clear that the Grinch isn't exactly right in the head, but during one of the Grinch's wacky stunts, he could have gotten a head injury. This injury would later take a toll on him as he grew old and caused him to lose his memory. After him and his dog died, they were given a new life in a realm called Halloween Town where they now lived as Jack Skellington in Zero. He later reunites with his love for Christmas, just like he had when he was alive. Both eventually wear a Santa suit, both deliver presents, and both have a doll companion. It may be possible that How the Grinch Stole Christmas and The Nightmare Before Christmas are tied together. Mmm, that's a good theory right there. Will Smith exposed Hollywood. Back in 2019, Will Smith made a video about the power of perception. In this video, he talked about how nothing is actually real. Y'all think I got time to go on vacation? No. I got social to do. Come on, man, this is blue screen. In fact, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I haven't looked like this good in years. I've been totally computer generated since like the 90s. You know what? This ain't even real blue screen. It's 2019, y'all. Nothing's real. Will Smith even started in the movie called Focus. And the whole point of the movie is being able to trick your subconscious mind if you're not staying focused. So with all that being said, Will Smith knows how to trick the subconscious mind and well understands how fake the entertainment industry is since he's been a part of it for so long. Did you know that before the Oscars, Will Smith even had a class teaching kids how to do a fake slap? What? <laughs> so let me know in the comment section if you believe that. Really? So the Simpsons did it again. They predicted the queen's death. No, they did not. Homer and the family are driving through somewhere in England. Well, they hit the back of a horse and carriage. Horse and carriage? Yes, and the queen pops out and she's just standing there and he's like, get back in your car, old lady. Behind her, there's a sticker that says 9-8-2-1-1. 
2022. The queen died September 8th, 2022. Now that's just freaky. Oh, that's really her. The Simpsons are crazy. Simpsons well, well, prediction, prediction 2023. You know, I always thought you'd die before me. Now as I prepare my soul for an eternity of fire and poking. Yeah, less chat, more splat, pal. This is the prediction yet. Hey, Mr. S, I didn't know you budgeed. I want to live. No, no, you're too heavy. It's a glandular problem. Oh, I seen this joint. Orlack, Look Chinese. at this. More people. There is no escape from the fortress of the moles. No, except that. There was people living inside the earth. Look at that. An earthquake machine. Mm. After earthquakes flattened much of the region and killed more than 46,000 people. Southern Turkey has been hit by another earthquake. The country's disaster and emergency agency said a 6.3 magnitude tremor. Man. The Simpsons predicted the bank this time. What do you mean the bank is out of money? Insolvent? You'll be have enough cash yeah, for this, this is funny though. Hey, what the hell? Hey, 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 Gains. The Simpsons predicted crypto price again. Mm. Ada going to thirty six dollars. Time to invest in Cardano, y'all. This is not financial advice, though. Is this true? Russia's doing terrible things. Vladimir. I'm sorry if I woke you. No, I don't care if I'm waking you. You tiny bald fascist! Leave this great country alone! Sucks. I'd take a moment to enjoy those store names if I didn't have a job to do. I'm sorry, I have so many nightmares. I've done unspeakable things, from Buenos Aires to the Ukraine. It's best to concentrate on what you do have. I have reoccurring flashbacks to a nightmarish past. It's funny, because I have reoccurring flash-forwards to a nightmarish future. Mm. Man, this really gets me. My nightmares are real. Shortly after the Antichrist becomes president, a flaming mushroom spreads across the sky. The champagne is terrible. Mm. It tastes like dryer sheets. But what does said mushroom signify? Nothing less than World War Three. Now this one better uh, not be true. Like, <gasps> Smithers, no way. I'm scared. Anyone left alive will surely find themselves envying. Who? Who could we possibly envy? The dead. Ah! Yeah, that one better not come through. Like, I'm not trying to see World War Three. Homer, what turned you from sad drunk to mad monk? Funny story, kid. It's the end of the world. God loves you. He's gonna kill you. I see. Well, we have 30 seconds left. Any other cuckoo yip yap? Uh, oh, here's one. Revelation 613. Just before the rapture, the stars will fall to the earth. Mm. No, America's collapse is about three months away. Six weeks. Man, we're going on this There's always one right artist. Anyway, when the four horsemen ride, 
We want you and your collaterals right here with us. And all our supplies behind a fake wall. What the basement look like, huh? See? These are our bug-out bags. In here is everything we need to survive. Survive what? The looming kablooey. Your people have been doing this for a while. Look at zombies. Mmm. The munchers got low. Well, we're not going out to help them. We have no idea what hideous creatures might be out there. Please let me in. How do I know you're not a muncher? I'm your father and I need your help. I can't make sense of that muncher talk. <laughs> It's crazy. We so dependent on the government for food or for anything. You know, if they took it away, that's what would happen. But we always had water. Then one day, the rain stopped. I'd like to buy 500 shares of Animotion Incorporated. Okay. We're in the money. We're in the money. You heard the monkey. Make the trade. It's up an eighth. Yes! After plunging 75 <laughs> points this morning. Ain't that how it always is when you invest? means up, and 75 means 200. The firm declared super duper bankruptcy. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The country is broke. It's a trick, dollar bill prank. Practical joke, Luann. It's U.S. dollars! Absolutely worthless! Mama. No! No! Yo, imagine if we are coming to a time like this, where the dollar don't mean nothing. Better uh, invest in gold right now while you can. Well, I mean, no. Gather you into a new faith. From now on, you shall be called Chris Mujus. <laughs> because when you get down to it, aren't all religions the same? Mm. They tell you what to eat, when to pray, how this imperfect clay that we call man can mold itself to resemble the divine. But we can never attain that ultimate grace while there is hatred in our hearts for each other. I did it. I reached him. Simpsons be dropping those gems. Don't they? Like, man, Simpsons is based on a family from the future, remember? Y'all think any of these gonna be true? Let me know in the comment section. The Simpsons be making some crazy predictions. Say cash or card. Can you can you set this aside so you can figure this out? Can I speak to your manager? Oh, excuse me. Do you, do you guys take checks? No, me. I have the money. Oh, they scanned the man's forehead. What the hell is that? It's you. When was that implemented? I don't have that. Sorry. That's what they do in China already, huh? Where cash is now? Just the same business. It's, it's okay, Mom. It's just... Mm. Yeah, I seen those on that in China. Listen closely. It's time to close out the week with our interesting stories chat with Richard Southern. And Richard, the Russian government is making some pretty major claims tonight. 
Yeah, I mean, we're not too happy, I guess, with the Russian government uh, right now. But uh, that aside, Russian air defenses, Melissa, did say that they shot down a UFO. They actually released some video of it. We're looking at it here. Uh, This was reportedly shot down in the Rostov area near the Ukraine border. The governor of this Russian region said the UFO was a small-sized object in the shape of a ball and was flying roughly a mile and a half in high in the sky on January 3rd when the decision was made to shoot it down. Now, it is not clear what the object is. It's certainly possible it was a you know a Ukrainian or maybe even a Russian drone uh, related to the conflict. We don't know. Still, though, back in September, the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine claimed the skies over Kiev were swarming with unidentified flying objects. So add this... To- Mm, it makes me think about the whole Russia Ukraine thing. Like, I seen UFOs? this and I had to make a video mm. immediately. So, 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 somebody please read this. Somebody please read it. All right, I got you, bro. I got you. I'm going to read it for y'all. Y'all ready? The U.S. Senate has unanimous. <clears throat> with this huge academic, I mean, uh, with this, with this, this with, with this, with, with this huge shit that's going on, all this crazy stuff that's going on. Floyd, the U.S. Senate has unanimously passed the Sunshine Protection Act, legislation that would make daylight savings time permanent starting in 2023. What y'all think about that? I mean, daylight savings time is kind of weird. The fact that you got to change the clock forward and change it backwards and keep doing that throughout the... Like, I don't like it, honestly, but whatever. The U.S. Senate has unanimously passed the Sunshine Protection Act, legislation that would make daylight saving time permanent starting in 2023. This is going to go into one of my videos that I'll be posting sometime later. Time does not exist, man. Just look at what they doing. How can you just change something like Yeah, what's up with all the cotton balls on my man's ceiling? Like, what, what is that? What type of ceiling do you got, bro? Like, and what is that a light fixture? That is because it was BS in the first place. If nothing makes you start opening up your mind and questioning what these people are saying and doing, this should be the one. Like, dog, I, I, I can't even, I can't even wrap my head around that, bro. What will it take? It will all come falling down. Probably will. Didn't I warn you and didn't I tell you that there's going to be a huge major storm? Haven't you been hearing all the news what has happened to people's houses? And they don't have heat, food, or water? Some of you believe me and some of you didn't. But majority and a lot of people have believed me. So thank you. And I'm about to tell you about the next big thing that's coming, starting in 2023. If you think going into next year will be a lovely new year and a thing to celebrate, after you feel like celebrating the new years, just a couple of days away, the evilness and the of this will be unleashed again. Nothing is going to be good. If anything, next year is going to be worse. I don't know. Has 2023 treated you guys good? I mean, it's treated me all right. Predicted and pulled. Mm-mm. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. 
No expenditure is questioned. No rumor is printed. No secret is revealed. Yo, he was definitely letting us know that back then about this whole society. is going to be a year to remember, according to Nostradamus predictions. According to him, everything we know will be turned upside down next year. In hmm. this video, we are going to be talking about Nostradamus 9 predictions for 2023. Some of these predictions are shocking, and some are just plain strange. But all of them are worth paying attention to. Let us know what your star sign is in the comments below, and whether or not you're looking forward to 2023. So if you're curious about what the future holds, then sit back and enjoy. Want three predictions about your life? Claim a free reading using the link below. Yeah, Number advertising. Nine, civil War in America. According to Nostradamus, there is going to be a civil war in the United States in 2023. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like over the past couple years, actually, they've really been trying to push this whole civil war in America type thing. Like, we're gonna go through another civil war. Like, it's both sides constantly clashing over issues and stuff. And I don't see it happening, but I feel like they're trying to push it so that it does happen. Maybe I'm just tripping. Y'all let me know what y'all think. The first prediction appeared in 1555 in his book, and after that many others predicted this too. According to Nostradamus, in 2023, there will be a great civil war in the United States in which hundreds of thousands of Americans will die. Sides will be chosen, and there will be bloodshed. Civil war will break out between red and blue. As a result, the country will split into two parts. This war is going to break out between the Democrats and the Republicans. It is not clear what the cause of this war will be. But it will be a war that lasts for an extended period of time. And it will be very violent. Number 8. Destruction of the Large Empire mm. According to Nostradamus, an Asian empire will be destroyed in 2023. This might be China or Russia. Or maybe even both. But one thing is clear, the Asian Empire will go through a huge crisis and, as a result, will be destroyed. This destruction will cause problems all across the planet. This is one of the famous quotes by Nostradamus. It shows that Nostradamus saw something happening in Russia or China. In the verses, Nostradamus says, realms to decay, great bad luck. Apparently, a large empire will fall prey to bad luck and will suffer from a catastrophe. This catastrophe will produce waves of chaos around the whole world. And what country that, I think this is? A superpower country that is currently a large what empire will decay and be destroyed. It's going to fall. I'm not sure. Number 7. Depopulation. Nostradamus predicts that Europe will be hit by a series of nuclear-related conflicts in 20... What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is just on camera? I think this one girl on TikTok really found the glitch in the Matrix. If you stand in front of a fucking mirror, look at yourself, say, I am you, you are me, this is my body. Stare at yourself for a couple seconds, it gets weird as shit. Okay, now that's a glitch right there. I mean, Shaq stuck. All right, everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look, the plane's plane stuck. Is it moving? Mm. It's not moving. Is that a glitch in the Matrix, Shaw? But it sounds like That would be creepy. Not even the thing in the back's moving. Hey, but weißt du, was mir aufgefallen ist? Die No way. Alle Wohin gucken die denn? Da ist doch die Sonne. Hm. 
They're not supposed to do that, right? I mean, I'm not an expert. Is that a, what is that? Two fish? Oh, what y'all doing if y'all catch a fish like that? I'm gonna be a little creeped out. What is this? Like, why even sweep at this point? They're coming right back to the same spot. Okay, now that's creepy. Mirrors are creepy. Cloud right over Memphis. Right, that's the face I'm giving. Check this glitch in the Matrix. I'm gonna have a panic attack because did you see his nose? I'm not going crazy. Oh my god, wait, stop it. There's nothing there. There's not a grate there. There's no wait, WTF, how? Where did this bitch just come from? What the fuck? He just came out of nothing! Nah, I'm out. <laughs> Whoa. That one was stuck. Okay. We're living in the Sims video game. Look at her face. Look, look, look. Wait. Say that. Y'all see that? Where is his head at? There's no way he's just got his head down or anything. Oh, that's odd. That's just like a random spout. A mi mamá le ardía la oreja, así que hicimos el truquito para saber quién estaba hablando de ella. Intentamos varias veces y al principio no acertaba. Cuando la lapicera queda dentro es porque pensó en la persona incorrecta. No, no tampoco. No. Esto no siempre me... quise grabarlo porque me parece increíble. Okay, what are they saying? Aquí acertó. Espero que ahora que lo tengo grabado no deje de funcionar. Oh, snap. Feels like a magic trick. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. What is she looking at? Yo, she tripping. Or does she... This proof that we are in the matrix. Monday has been found. Aaron Valenti. Aaron Valenti. Aaron Valenti. Aaron Valenti.
She was the founder and CEO of a tech company called Tinker Ventures. Hmm. Tinker, Tinker Ventures is known for designing, developing, and scaling technology products for iOS, Android, and the web. Previously, before Aaron's death, Tinker Ventures had endorsed Brain Machine Interface Technology. A brain computer interface, also known as a brain machine interface, is a direct communication pathway between the brain's electrical activity. Hey yo, right off bat, don't this sound similar to Neuralink, right? I wonder if this got something to do with that. And an external device most commonly a computer or a robotic limb. When doing my research into BCI, I came across a video of Elon Musk on the Joe Rogan podcast discussing how this type of technology can really help people that are disabled or have been hurt. You insert the electrode threads very carefully into the, the brain, you know, stitch it up, and, um, and you wouldn't even know that somebody has it. It can interface basically anywhere, mm. in, any, anywhere in your brain. Um, so it could be something that uh, you know helps cure, say, uh, eyesight, like give you returns your eyesight, even if you've like lost your optic nerve type of thing. Uh, could, really? Could, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hearing, in principle, fix almost anything that is wrong with the brain. We could potentially have some superhumans running around. That eventually we probably already have to do. Cut the whole top of someone's head off and put a new top. Sure. With a whole bunch of wires, if you want to get, you know, the real turbocharged version. If you want to go with full AI symbiosis, you'll probably want to do something like that. You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> you said you wouldn't I'm need so to talk. I'm so excited about it at the same time. I am very curious on how Erin Valenti planned on using this type of technology in her web development company, especially because none of her clients at the time and currently were even in the biotech field. That is strange though, isn't it? Game here to kill me, clap your hands. Well, that wasn't clapping your hands, that was more like just... Oh, okay, I'm so Nos encontramos un viejito en medio de la carretera. Estaba solo y en plena oscuridad. Look at that, just walking out there by himself. Tratamos de ayudarlo y le hablábamos y parecía que era sordo. He didn't even see ya. No se veía absolutamente nada si apagábamos la luz. Whoa. Wait. What is that? Is something stuck in the sky? Babe, I'm freaking out, yo. I'm, yo. What is that? What is that? Let me get out of the car for a second. Dog, why? I don't know how to answer that. Um, hmm. Because. Because. Because bunny dog. Oh no, I'm not messing with no spiders. Look at that big old spider. He got a fishing pole. Ooh, the claw. Trying to get them up outside. Like, I was just, I got my light on and everything. Um, I was just talking about how I was going to put these things in the closet so I can put my monitor in there. Like noise isolating. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Man, it's got a ghost. Except for safe, dude, bro. Nobody here in the crevasse. I don't know why I'm stepping in here, but yeah. Got a little closet office. I clothes. Oh, I did drink. What's about to happen? All oh, the static electricity in the air.
Why do you want one? Why would you want one? What is that? That's like a hyena coyote. Yeah, I'm good, G. I don't want that. We cannot simply declare ourselves. Watch you go in the background. He looks at him. Eye contact. A hand signal. Ooh. Ooh. He said, yep, it's about that time, Don't Cass. Work. You know who it is behind him. What is that? Yo, it shot the light back. Estábamos de regreso a casa y nos topamos con esto. Is something else just suspended in air? Now that looked like a person. I wouldn't. Uh, no, I couldn't drive past that and just be okay. Right. This thing is right over here, and it's moved all the way up here. Oh, look at that. I can't tell. That's a cylinder it's UFO. Like, uh, metallic ish. And there's like a round part at the top and round part at the bottom, and it's thin in the middle. Y acá, pues, el otro pedacito de, de la cortina. Clarito quise ver que algo que pasó. Ahí en el cuarto de los niños. I mean, what was that? I didn't even see. Oh, look, look. Oh, somebody peeking. Oh, this made the news? Skinwalker, huh? Oh, she running. Oh, hell no. I don't know how real this is, but that look crazy. Yo, she yeah. barely just made it in the house. No way. He ain't just breaking their house. Oh, no. That thing look creepy. It look like she's smiling. Okay, I didn't see it move. Oh yeah, she tripping. Stay far away. No. <laughs> It says she looking like a witch. Yo, what that sound like uh, to y'all? Is that a possession? Or is she just crazy? Mm-hmm. Oh, 
센서, 법 센서라 그지. 아니 법이지. gone too. Look, she gonna be scared for life. What's up with these weird spirits that everybody be seeing and hearing? Yo, I hope I never come across something like this. That's them walking right there, or that's the little spirit. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, thank God they got dogs. Yo, in today's video, we'll be looking at a crazy glitch in the Matrix TikToks that you probably can't unsee. And my laundry's gone. Okay, so here I am out here in September, and as you can see, there's obviously a really very oh, clear a little planet too high. that is right north of the sun. And okay, so wow, what is that? I would love to say it was the moon, but since the moon happens to be right here on the opposite side, there's no way it is. Since we all have been taught in school that Mercury and Venus do not show up. Oh, just look at that planet. Just being in shock. Yo, we've also been told that the sun and the moon cannot be out in the daytime at the same time across from each other. How is that? You know what I'm saying? Are they both above us? Like, what's going on there in that situation? Right now. Somebody tell me what it is. Thank you. Here goes something. What's this? Oh, oh, mighty. Oh. The web facility is not equipped with airbags. Okay. I don't know that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, dude came out of nowhere. A glitch in real life. Bro, how? Oh! How to skip past that last second to last one? Okay, okay. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's that cat's on a leash. So this isn't a glitch. I'm calling cap on this one. The cat's on the leash, clearly. No way. Did y'all see that? It went like through his leg. Look, look, look. Hold on. Let's see one. Look at that. Y'all see that? Now that's crazy. It definitely went through his Glitches leg. Glitches in real life. Part 7. Oh, he tripping. Oh, he was really getting hit though. Not 
Look at that. Imagine that happens. I don't think that was a glitch. Now that is creepy. Y'all seeing this? Or am I tripping? Die. He came out of nowhere. Oh, that one just moved. I dare you to try to touch one of them dogs. No way. Is creepy in general. Five nights at Freddy's. Okay, don't this massive pimp, but so the craziest shit happened to me earlier. So okay, there was a glitch, a glitch in the system. I'm gonna show you guys a video. Okay, so in this video, you can see me uh, grabbing a lemon, right? I cut it in half, and then I cut it in half once more, right there. You can see me cut it, right? I go get a bag. Okay, I grab the bag. I go back for the lemon, and I grab the lemon. And I touch it and I'm like, why is it not cut in half? And my face, I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I'm like Yo, expecting it. I take that's it out a of the real bag. Glitch. I grab this lemon trying to see if I cut that one. I recut the lemon because the lemon wasn't cut anymore. Oh, I'm freaking out because the lemon was not cut in half anymore. It was literally intact. <laughs> and you can see me in the video cut the lemon in half. There was a glitch. There was, this has never happened to me and I'm, I don't know how to act. I'm freaking out. Wow. I'm gonna play the video one more time so you guys can see for yourselves. Yo, she witnessed her own glitch. That's rare. She's like, wait, hold up. Hold up. I swear I just cut this lemon. Let me just cut it again anyway. Somebody please explain to me what happened because I need to know. That is crazy. Oh snap. Ain't no 
clouds out there. Pretty sure it's cloud. Does this video really catch a glitch in the matrix? I want you to watch very closely and comment when you see it and if you think it's really a glitch. What was it? And comment when you see it and if you think it's really a glitch. Y'all comment if y'all see it because I did not see anything. I did I didn't see anything. Bobby Charizard. Where's it where's the rain coming from? Oh wow. The sky is leaking. Hello madam, I want to give you some free cash. Free cash, fiver for you. No cash? <laughs> wow, that was a reaction. Oh wow. She scared me. a ship that looks like a spaceship cloaked as a cloud that's what that looks like to me I could be wrong it definitely like it looks like something's cloaked I'd be creeped out seeing this in real life. Go, I'm filming. <laughs> Holy oh. What she hit? Okay, so you here's my that? sink. It is a touch sensor thing. And here's some strawberries. Nothing happens when I touch the box, but when I touch a strawberry. But nothing happens when I touch the box, just the strawberries. Oh, wow. Teleportation, huh? Looks like there are a lot of bird things everywhere. Yeah, man, we've seen this video a couple times, right? Where these people are just standing still. Like something's just got their attention. It's crazy. This ain't never just caught on camera on some Doctor Strange type stuff. That look like one of Sonic's little portals. I don't know y'all, I'm calling cap on that one.
cloud right here. I'm gonna make that disappear by just telling it to disappear. So, disappear little cloud. You know, you know which one I'm talking to. Hmm. I would love to say it for someone to I would love to hear somebody say that this is edited love to hear it love to hear it I would love to hear that this is edited in under a minute this is just you know dissipating in under a minute Okay, not gonna lie, not this little freaking thing in the sky, I can't see it. But my camera sees it. What the heck? I literally do not see that everywhere in my hammock. And the trees are blowing everywhere. The wind is very strong, and the clouds are just sitting there. So, I don't know, guys. Don't the clouds look pretty fake though? Look how fake that looks. It's just sitting there in the sky, you know, in the same spot. Windy as hell. Clouds aren't. Why do we celebrate Easter? Why do you hide eggs and bunny rabbits? Well, think about what bunny rabbits are meant, known for. Humping. Dude, you put mm. two rabbits together, dude, next thing you know, there's a hundred. And then the Easter eggs That's is true. fertility. It was, it was for the god of Ishtar. Isn't that crazy? Most people don't know that. Way back in the day, they celebrated by having orgies and making babies. So Whoa. nine months later, they could sacrifice those babies to Horus, the sun god, who was born December 25th, by the way. Now, when do they say Jesus was born? December 25th. He wasn't, and everybody knows that. You go ask any biblical scholar, they will say he was not born on December 25th. Then why are we celebrating Christmas? Mm, hey, yo, he dropping bombs on us. I can't even lie. That was a lot of information. Can we talk about the dark history of Easter? You gotta make sure you check outside. Sorry to say that Easter has nothing to do with Jesus. Many aspects of traditional Christianity, holidays, practices, doctrines, the bunnies, the eggs, springtime came not from Christ or the Bible, but came from pagan religion. Easter Sunday is a Babylonian pagan holiday, which idolizes the fertility goddess Ishtar. Worshipping Ishtar was intended to ask for her blessing of fertility on the crops and everything else. On the first Sunday after the full moon, they would celebrate by baking cakes, getting drunk, and committing other heinous crimes. Women were required to celebrate the conception by laying down at the temple of Ishtar and having relations with anybody who walks in. There is a very, very dark history on why they color eggs. Babies were sacrificed, and the blood of the infants were dipped in the eggs for Ishtar. Want to know the reason there's a bunny rabbit? Rabbits can bear several litters of young each year, meaning they have high fertility. Decorating eggs seems harmless until you consider the origins of it. None of this had to do with Christianity. The bunnies and the eggs are not as simple as they seem. And this holiday is not holy. Y'all be safe. Yo, Ishtar, Easter. What do bunny rabbits and eggs have to do with Easter? Think about what rabbits are known for. Other than their big ears and hops, they're infamous for spreading like wildfire. That's right, every season is cuffing season for these guys. Do a quick search online and you can even see for yourself. Rabbits are known for their insatiable reproductive habits and ain't no one stopping them once they're bricked. What about Easter eggs? They represented fertility. Now I know rabbits don't lay eggs, but they were symbolic of a pretty twisted tradition. Way back in the day, people celebrated the day that we now know as Easter by literally having orgies and making babies in honor of the Mesopotamian god of fertility Ishtar, which sounds oddly similar to Easter, but apparently that's just a coincidence. So that nine months later, they could sacrifice those babies to Horus, the sun god, who was known as an Egyptian god, but historic records show had earlier roots. Now, what day was that celebrated on? Horus's birthday, of course, which was December 25th, which just so happens to be nine months after Easter. What other major holiday takes place on December 25th? Don't get mad at me, I'm just reciting history. You make your own call. Just remember to bring this up during Easter dinner when someone asks you, the Dark Truth of Easter and the Willy Wonka movie. The Willy Wonka movie? Ishtar, I didn't know that was the pagan goddess of fertility. She carried a rabbit and eggs in a basket, which is where you get the Easter bunny origins from. She sacrificed children and dyed the eggs with the blood of the children, which is where you get the dying eggs tradition from. If it's a good egg, it's shined up and shipped out all over the world. But if it's a bad egg, down the chute. 
Sacrificed the children to the sun god Bull, which is why he set Furnace. The X symbolizes fertility. Mm. They tying all of this stuff together, ain't they? You guys talked about Santa and Christmas yeah. relating to mushrooms. Yeah. So there's another theory, not even a theory. I believe this is actually what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm convinced. So with Easter, when mushrooms grow, they start in this bulb shape which is called an egg, yeah. all right? And they grow in certain seasons very well. Mm -hmm. So around Easter time, these bulbs would be popping out of the ground. Yeah. And of course, their, their term is egg. So mm -hmm. people would go on egg hunts during these times. <laughs> and they'd yeah. bring them home. And That's where, where, where Easter, Easter egg hunting. From. I believe so, because there are actually stories of it, like hunting for mushrooms. You're looking for eggs. That's what they called them. Bro, that makes so much Ooh. sense. Yeah. Because remember, I think in the RG episode, I was talking about like, where did Easter come from? Where did yeah. these eggs come from? Well, they say that the Easter bunny was just thrown in for commercial purposes. They mm -hmm. needed something for marketing, right? Mm -hmm. But the egg part. The egg part, yeah. Because when, when mushrooms grow, they start. Yeah, that's, that's like. Th it's the actual term. What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? The ancient civilizations on Earth were far more advanced than we're being told, and that one of them possibly even thrived before our oceans even existed. Stay with me. Mm. In the spring of 2013, a gentleman was sailing his yacht around the Azores Islands, an autonomous region of Portugal, when he discovered a large pyramid underwater. They would find that this architectural marvel was 60 feet tall and bigger around than a football field. So naturally, I had to dig deeper, and as I did, I kept seeing pictures of it circled on Google Earth. And of course, I had to go find it for myself. It's right here. But as I was checking it out, I thought to myself, well, where there's one, there's got to be more, right? Well, look right above it. Mm -hmm. One, two, two more pyramids. From there, it was over. I was up all night scanning the entire ocean floor. And what I found absolutely blew my mind. That there were large clusters of what could be potential pyramids at the depths of the ocean all over the world. And I mean thousands of them. Do you see it? As I was scanning the ocean floor the other night, I spotted this. So I zoomed in on it. To me, it looks just like the statues of giants from Easter Island. Then I spotted another face right next to it, surrounded by idols. Check them out. Look at that one's definitive. Here's another one. But the most interesting part, the statues I found were just north of Hawaii, over 4,000 miles away from Easter Island. Mm -hmm. But I wanted more evidence, I I so I went Easter back to Easter Island. Island and checked around it. Notice these circular structures, a number of them, blurred out. And sure enough, blurred out, another one, another one, another one. They're a circular structure with a peak at the top. So I came to the conclusion that this civilization of people existed here and north of Hawaii. So I thought to myself, they had to travel to get there. What path did they take? So after coming to the conclusion that the same people that lived on Easter Island also lived north of Hawaii, I figured they must have traveled to get there. So I looked closely and look at this. The path. heads mm. west and north. Not only that, they actually had a path going from Easter Island back to South America. You can literally see the beaten path going to the land. Then I quickly noticed okay. that looks like around the area of Peru. And that's when my light bulb just went off. If you didn't know this, Paracas, Peru is where Julio Tello in 1928 discovered over 300 elongated skulls on a desert peninsula. So I bet you know what I did next. Paracas, Peru. What a coincidence. Straight to it. The elongated skull people of Paracas, Peru were probably behind the pyramids and the large idols. Oh, and one last thing. Don't their statues kind of resemble something found on Mars? Yo, I don't know if that had anything to do with the holiday Easter. Easter Sunday, they Easter celebrated the Sunday. That was great. Well, but you see, there's something wrong with that. Mm -hmm. They said they killed him on Friday. It took three days to rise. Now, give me your hand. Okay. Now, count three days from Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, Monday. There you go. Think about that. 
one year Easter come in March, another year it comes in April. You can't be killed in two different months. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't be killed in two different days, let alone two different months. Yeah. Do you know that Easter Sunday never falls on the same date year to year? And I'll tell you why. Look at the screen here, for example. Let's go back five or six years. In 1996, Easter came on April the 7th. That's when you all celebrated it. The next year, 1997, it came on March the 30th. The next year, 1998, it came on April the 12th. Last that year, it came strange, on April it? the 3rd. This year, it's gonna come on April the 23rd. So how can you have a difference from April the 23rd clear back to March 30th? That's a difference of 23 days. How does that happen? I'll tell you how it happens. Easter is not regulated by a date. Easter is regulated by the solar system. You know why? Easter always comes the first Sunday after the first full moon, after the equinox when days and nights are equal lanes. You never knew that, did you? Hmm. I did not know that. But that's good knowledge right there. Easter, a religious celebration commemorating the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But is this really a Christian holiday? Let's find out. Easter, it comes from an old English word that usually appears in the form of Eastrum, that is used to translate Passover. Bede, an old author, referred to it as the month of corresponding to April, the usual time that is celebrated every year. In his book, Month of Oastre, he said it was once called after the goddess of their name, Oastre, and was honored, a lot of people honored her by doing feasts on that month. Bede states that during April, pagan Anglo-Saxons had held feasts in Oastre's honor, but this, this tradition died out after it was replaced with the Christian celebration of the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Oastre was worshipped under many names by the ancient societies. She was an ancient Mesopotamian goddess associated with love, beauty, sex, war, justice, and political power. Babylonians and Assyrians, under the name of Ishtar, worshipped her. She was known as the Queen of Heaven. In the Bible, the Hebrews referred to her as Ashtoreth and they worshipped her when they rebuilt against him. Hmm. I can't believe these facts about the Easter Island heads. They have huge bodies buried underground, and evidence suggests it would have taken over 1,000 people to move one of them. The Mao, we are supposed to be protectors of the island. And some people believe that by removing them, we have locked ancient curses. Is there a higher power who protects them? Probably. There probably was a mud flood there or something. Like, oh, shoot. Here flood. I go, making people mad again. Yep, blinds are closed. Today, guys, we're going to talk about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This video is exactly for you wonderful souls in the comments like this. Say you don't care about the eggs or the bunnies. And that's the point, not to care about specific things that have brainwashed and controlled our lives. So apparently Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and she saw the stone had been removed and Jesus' body was not there. Jesus was in the body of a human. So when a human dies, right, in order to the Christians, after you die, you either go to heaven or hell. What did Jesus do after he died? He ascended to heaven. So when he came back to life in his physical body, he just floated up to the top. It is told that heaven is in the sky, past Earth. But when an astronaut goes in a rocket ship and drives up there, it goes to space. So we can all say that heaven or hell is a spiritual place. Where's his physical body at if he walked Earth? The resurrection of your Lord, he's called the sun, right? He always got the sun behind his head. I'm going to break this down for you. But as I have said before, everything comes from something. The Egyptians believed in the resurrection of the sun. You guys believe in the resurrection of the sun. Do you see the sun behind his head? When is the sun at its lowest amount? It's cold and most plants die. In December, the sun is literally pointed away from us. So when spring comes, it comes back to us. When everything begins to grow, new seedlings sprout, all of that. So the sun comes back alive, which is in springtime when they say he resurrected. So if I have showed you that Easter is a pagan holiday and it came from something, what makes you think that the resurrection of the sun didn't come from the resurrection of the sun? So are you really celebrating something that was a source? I just want to make sure you understand and know everything that you're doing. Y'all be safe. Mm. She be dropping them gems, don't she? Easter is a popular religious holiday celebrated in the spring by millions of people across the globe. It calls to mind familiar images of rabbits, colored eggs, baskets of candy, hot cross buns, and sunrise services. Professing Christians believe Easter commemorates the Sunday morning resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yet most accept this tradition without understanding what the day actually represents. Have you ever asked, is Easter biblical? 
The Bible does appear to mention this holiday once. Acts 12.4 states, Herod put Peter in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. However, this verse is mistranslated. The word rendered Easter is the Greek word Pascha, derived from the Hebrew word Pesach. It does not mean Easter. It should be translated Passover, which is one of God's seven annual feasts and holy days. Hmm. Nowhere in scripture does God instruct his people to observe Easter or other popular holidays like Christmas, New Year's, and Valentine's Day. This is because they are rooted in pagan tradition. Celebrating them violates God's command to learn not the way of the heathen. The true origin of Easter comes from pagan beliefs centered on the worship of false gods, which defies the first commandment, you shall have no other gods before me. The name of this holiday is derived from the ancient Sumerian goddess Ishtar and each of its common symbols also have roots in Babylonian, Egyptian, and various other religious customs. Beyond this, the teaching that Jesus was resurrected on Sunday morning is false. He did not die on Good Friday, and he did not rise on Resurrection Sunday. If he did, he would not have been in the grave three days and three nights, which was the only sign he gave that he was the Messiah. Despite what ministers all over the world tell you, Easter is not a true Christian holiday. Jesus rose from the dead. What if Jesus was a high dimensional ascended master being who was applying the ability of disassembling physical particles and then reassembling into a physical body? So. These high dimensional mm -hmm. galactic Here's beings, they have the ability to take physical form if they choose, but otherwise their natural form is a light body. It's frequency, it's energy. They can take physical form in a physical body and then they can disassemble their particles and quantum leap somewhere else and retake a physical form, reassemble their particles. Can I do that? What if Jesus as a high ascended master being reassembled his particles? He, he was in his light body, right? When he died and left his physical form, he went to his light body and then he reassembled his particles in the physical realm and was like, hey, I'm back y'all. We have that ability. We are upgrading as I say all the time and we will once again reach that ability to disassemble our particles and reassemble if we so choose, if we so please. We'll be at such a, such a quantum level that our light bodies will operate differently than our physical bodies. How do you think quantum jumping and quantum leaping and interdimensional travel works? It's mm. good info right there. I know it's Easter and the store is closed. But why does Lowe's have their entire front barricaded? I've never seen this before. Mmm, that's a good question. Why would they do that? You think people are just gonna run in there and ramsack their spot? Take everything? Hmm. Oh yeah, you can't even get back there or nothing. Y'all let me know about that, man. Why they got Lowe's barricaded? Okay, okay. Virus has contaminated the burgers, and they are no Another longer Simpsons edible. prediction. And then they transform into these zombie-like creatures as a result of this. Great. Maybe this virus will mutate and begin to transform everyone into a zombie-like state. Viruses or viruses that can come back from the dead. They say warmer conditions are causing part of the Arctic's permafrost to thaw. Thaw significantly. They say some viruses that have been lying dormant for tens of thousands Ancient of years. Ancient viruses. Could re -emerge, no thanks. Endanger animals and humans. The government is having this shipped across the water. 
Black helicopters have been following this shipment for the entire delivery. Mm, what do you there? think they're transporting in those closed containers? What y'all think? Let me know the in the comment has section. Been an interesting year so far, and it's only going to get more interesting. For the ones who don't know, it's a secret society called Skull and Bones, aka Order 322, and they call themselves the Brotherhood of Death as well. As we know, this year is 2023, so you do the gematria, aka the numerology, you get 322 in reverse. Ooh. A date I want y'all to look out for is March 22nd because March 22nd, 322, 2023, 322, it's a direct parallel of this number. I know many people know this already, but for the ones who don't know, y'all go look up and research the Skull and Bones Society and just, you know, do some research on that secret society. I was watching... Hey yo, so today is uh 417, so we're kind of already past that date, and I don't recall anything crazy happening on 322, but I could be wrong. I could have missed something. If you guys know anything crazy that happened on 322 of this year, let us know in the comment section. Think scary movie 31. Ooh, that makes sense too. Wi-Fi and everything. True. So it says prolonged exposure to low level magnetic fields similar to those emitted by such common household devices as blow dryers, electric blankets, and razors can cause damage. Oh no, can damage brain cell DNA according to researchers in the University of Washington's Department of Bioengineering. So guys, all of these waves out here are probably damaging our brains. Just being honest. You know, you got cell phone towers, you got Wi-Fi signals, you got Bluetooth, you got anything else that I don't even know of. You know what I'm saying? And you can't see it. Just imagine if you were able to see all of the waves from all of these signals just floating around. Like you'd be lost in all of these waves. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Both in plain sight. Now tell me you guys remember this video. But Dave Chappelle was decapitated in front of us. He made $500 million. They said even though his contract said he should get half of it, they said he made too much for the contract to be valid. You mean he made $500 million and they offered him 50 Yes. Ooh. And he said, what do you think my fans are going to say? They said, your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. After watching that, it really, really got me thinking. Because we know that most of these celebrities are into some weird stuff, right? But only a select few get exposed. Now we all know what Michael Jackson is known for or what he allegedly did. Look at this. I generated several billion dollars for Sony. Several billion. They never thought that this performer myself would outthink them. So I own half of Sony's publishing and, and I'm leaving them and they, they're very angry at me because mm -hmm. of Anybody see where I'm going with this? It's all about money. He pushed and pushed and pushed propaganda about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, the first Click. man who cloned himself, is now suing himself or busting himself. What did you do with Shu? Scary you movie three. Right. Yo, this movie had me cracking up when I first seen this movie. I'm not gonna lie, though. And there are literally countless examples of this. Michael Jackson is one of the biggest stars of all time. And with that comes influence that he would have on the people, right? And if he's not doing what they want him to do, their only option is to discredit him. Really makes you think about all the other celebrities that they had to discredit. It's all about money at the end of the day. I mean, what do you do? You make $500 million and they say, look, you can get 50 of this 500. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna have to take a step back, yo. Them fighting words right there. 
All right, hold on. It says the CEO of Pepsi said that he doesn't allow his family and kids to consume their products. Also, the CEO of McDonald's claimed that he doesn't even eat his own company's food. That's not that surprising. I mean, the people that work on social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook say that they don't allow their children to use social media because they know it's addicting. Come on, man. The owners of a lot of this stuff, they know what's going on. The Ripper Road Alice in Wonderland. Everyone knows the book Alice in Wonderland about an innocent girl who discovers so much more after going down the rabbit hole. But what if it was all a disguise for something sinister? Well, you see, Alice in Wonderland author Lewis Carroll released another book called Sylvia and Bruno, in Never which people that started to notice anagrams. That, when rearranged, revealed chilling statements confessing to multiple murders that, interestingly enough, matched the manner in which the Ripper murders took place. Coupled with the fact that this book was released about the same time the Ripper murders were happening, and the revelation that Alice in Wonderland was actually written about Lewis Carroll's summer what strange relationship with the real Alice. So is it a stretch to say that? Great Wall of China mm. is actually the Great Wall of Tartaria. There Tartaria. Is a Before we get into this, guys, have you ever heard of Tartaria or what Tartaria is or what people think that it is? You know, um, it's pretty it's pretty deep. You guys should get into it. You know, they get into all these mud floods and, you know, the time periods being different and, you know, who was actually in control of the, the one world empire at the time. So... I'm sure this is going to make sense about the Great Wall. It says the Great Wall of China wasn't actually built by China, but by the Tartaria Empire. This might sound crazy, but if you look at old maps and photos, you would see that the steepest side of the Great Wall, as well as the lookout post, are actually facing China. Normally, this is done to prevent any invaders from climbing up or picking off enemies with crossbows. So is history covering up something? And with all that said, is it possible that... What happened to Andrew Dawson? Andrew Dawson was a regular TikToker who used TikTok to share his everyday life. However, his life took a sudden turn after he posted a video claiming to have filmed a giant oh, in Jasper National guy, Park Dawson. in Alberta, Canada. Over the next few weeks, he documented his hunter find and filmed the creature. But in the process, he claimed that he was being harassed, followed, and stalked by the CIA. Dawson disappeared for over a month, and when he returned, he posted an update video that seemed extremely strange and forced according to viewers. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They're just strictly for entertainment. Mm, Unfortunately, there? his next video would be his last. As on July 1st, Dawson mysteriously passed away at the age of 34. So I bet you're wondering, who is the real Where Barney? We all know this dinosaur Barney? from our imagination. But did you know that Barney had a much darker past? Well, you see, this photo was captured many years before Barney was on television, showing a man who would dress up in this costume to play with kids at the playground. Now, we don't know what the costume man's true intentions were, but it was alleged that the 25 kids who went missing were last seen with this character. Until this day, neither the kids nor the man has ever been caught. Some say that this man is the same man who plays Barney. Look at that Barney right there. Like, how is that going to make any kids happy? That's going to make kids run away. That's a creepy Barney right there. Barney on the kids' television show in order to continue what he was doing, which begs the question. There's a CIA document that came out. Everybody just started talking about it now. It's called the Adam and Eve story. It basically explains how the world is going to end. Has it been true? It makes sense. They say the world is going to end because the poles, like, you know, North and South Pole, they shift every 12,000 to 15,000 years. And once they shift, it causes like a giant, like apocalypse, big earthquakes, giant tsunamis. Once the apocalypse happens, we go right back to the stone age. And it said that our first humans, like as us, it was 10,000 years ago. So if you think about it, 10,000 years ago, we're in year 2000. We're at 12,000 years right now. And now you see like global warming and shit like that. Like in the book, it says that we are the sixth civilization that came out of the apocalypse. So we just get to a certain point in life and then it just... And that explains a lot because remember how you were saying that the Sahara Desert used to be green and like the Antarctica used to have forests and shit like that? Yeah. That's what happens. Like it switches like... It switches everything and flips. Yeah. So now like some places turn cold, some places turn hot. That's why they was talking about like the flood in the Bible and shit like that. That's probably what happened to Atlantis and shit like that. I was just about to say Atlantis. It would make sense for a city in the water if the water wasn't there before. 
Yo, so where it is is that we're already <clears throat> we're already going through a pole shift right now, and that's why you see a lot of this crazy weather out there. I don't know how true it is. I haven't done the research on it, but that's what a lot of people are saying right now. So, hey, the weather's probably just going to get crazier and crazier. I mean, here in my town, it was just 80, 80 degrees like three days ago, and today it's snowing. I got a hoodie on. It's cold. It's crazy. Now, what is this? Where is this at? It's Antarctica. Different civilizations. These things look creepy. They found all this stuff, huh? I've never seen these photos before. Look at that. Probably in Antarctica. Oh, never seen that before. There are three kinds never of aliens. Never seen those. The greys, insectoids, and the reptilians. Insectoids, huh? But nine times out of ten, what people report seeing are the greys, the reptilians. I don't think those accounts are credible. The invasion already happened. No one knows exactly when, but they're here. I believe this to be very they're much true. Here. Do you know what they want? They seem to be studying us, experimenting on us. One thing we know for sure is they use our fears against us. Just put the biggest crack in that glass ceiling yet. Although we weren't able to shatter that she highest, us know. hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. Oh, we have yeah. still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. They're trying to get out of here. Under a glass ceiling right now. These plans Let for Project know, Blue up. is to stage an elaborate worldwide faked alien invasion with UFOs that will be seen in the sky. These will either be made on this planet with secret technology driven by craft operated by black budgets and military or advanced holographic imagery. I seen this and I, I had a hologram. To make a video immediately. So, 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 somebody please read this. Somebody please read it. The U.S. Senate has unanimously passed the Sunshine Protection Act, legislation that would make daylight saving time permanent starting in 2023. This is going to go into one of my videos that I'll be posting sometime later. Time does not exist, man. Just, just look at what they doing. How can you just change something like that? It's because it was BS in the first place. If nothing makes you start opening up your mind and questioning what these people are saying and doing, this should be the one. Like, dog, I, I, I can't even I can't even wrap my head around that, bro. What will it take? It will all come falling down. Know about the door theory? No. So take this in. Every single door, or like the normal doors they use in a house, what they have a cross and a Bible placed into the door. You see it? The symbol of a cross Ooh, and a it. Bible are in the door. I've always noticed that as a kid. Yeah? Like the door, like not all doors, but like majority of doors, right? Mm hmm Like there's a cross. The regular the door, you know that that shape? Yeah. Well, the top, the top part is a cross, oh. and then the bottom is an open Bible. Look, look, I, look at it. Yeah, no, I do see it like that. So what they used to do is they made it like that to keep away evil spirits oh. from entering your home you know what's crazy what? my old house didn't have that it was just Whoa. a wooden it was just a wooden like each was just wooden that's why i say not all doors yeah yeah, yeah. i did like it was just flat yeah oh damn do you have any like ghost stories at that house Man. yeah you do yeah like oh she said yeah uh-oh she throwing out them hand symbols what's that oh look like triple six I don't know. Like, why 
why why she gotta do that? If it's not real, then why is it real? Y'all let me know what y'all think. What's she throwing up? I'm about to break down the rituals they do every year that we still haven't caught on to yet. The ritual they do every year always start on the winter solstice. Because on the winter solstice, a lot of energy hit the planet. They, they want to use that energy for what they want to use it for. But since they want to do mass rituals, they need mass energy. Christmas is the first thing they use to gather a bunch of people energy, right? Then you got New Year's a few days after. Mm -hmm. Even though we know the real New Year's is during spring when the planet finally wakes up. But y'all don't know that. Y'all just go keep celebrating the pagan holidays, not knowing what y'all energy being used for. So right after New Year's, that's when they get their last bit of energy from the people. Now it's time to commence the ritual. Let's go ahead and start from 2020. January 10, 2020, coronavirus outbreak. January 2020, Trump killed the Iraqi leader. January 2020, Kobe Bryant died. And the whole year after that was so fucked up because they had enough energy to basically ruin the whole year. Let's go to the next year, 2021. That's when a, the capital storm and all kind of stuff happened with the Biden administration, mm -hmm. all that stuff that happened last I year. I didn't even notice this. And the rest of the tool, 2021 was basically shitty. Now, guess what they about to do this year? They already starting January 11th, the whole fucking flight thing grounded and Biden say we're going to have another coronavirus outbreak. So congratulations, y'all fed another ritual from celebrating all these fake holidays. That's crazy if that's the case, right? Uh, I ain't big on theories or nothing like that, but this one don't make sense. He told us about how he came up and fame and all that, but he ain't really tell us how he came up, came up, like grew up and shit like that. For example, right. you go on Google and try to find out who this man's parents are, you cannot find a trace. I'm about to pull it out right now. Y'all never thought about that. Where are his parents? He be saying some wild stuff, and I've never even looked into the background of Orlando Brown. I've just always thought about that so Raven. And that's the earliest I can think. Now, this is Wikipedia. That, that's that's all. That's all you're going to find on Wikipedia. Go search for yourself. This is some random site. Little is known regarding Orlando Brown's parents and family. Like, what? Another site. Where is his parents from? There is no information regarding where Orlando Brown's parents is from. And it keeps going. Cherry on top. Father, mother, TBA. They do not know. Loud, bro. Can somebody let me know who Whoa. this man's parents is? Like, or is this man, like, government made or something? Like, right. and he just broke out the Matrix or some shit. Yo, is Orlando Brown an agent? This is fuck. The name Pinocchio. It's actually two words put together. The first one is pin, right? Pinocchio. Pine actually refers to the pineal mm -hmm. gland. Pineal gland is in charge of your consciousness. That's literally the gland in your brain. Okio, you know what that stands for? What? In ancient Latin, Okio actually translates to eye. Pinocchio together, they're referring to the third eye. Now listen, oh, Pinocchio was a puppet. He wanted to become a real down, boy. But how does he become a real boy? What happens when he lies? He grows. He becomes a puppet again. He smokes. Smokes, right? He smokes, he drinks alcohol, yeah. all of those things, they lead him down a road that oh. leads him to becoming a puppet again. There's other themes in it too, like being influenced by bad people. In real life, if you keep doing the wrong things to yourself, following the wrong habits, you become a what? A puppet. Third eye, becoming a puppet. The elites work us like a puppet. Yo, that one just blew my mind. Wow. They put the truth right in your face. question about the gay agenda. Uh -huh. You thanked it at the VMAs what is it? How do you define the gay agenda? Oh, uh, the gay agenda. Like, there's, like, there's been this plan. Like, we used to go to meetings on Wednesday in black cloaks. Okay. Uh, draw, like, a, a big star in the circle on the ground. Uh, we have, like, these cups of blood. Got drink it. it, pretty much. And... I don't think he's lying We kind of, like, plans, like, world domination, like, to make everyone gay. And then, like, <laughs> decrease the world population. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think he's lying. He telling us the truth right there. We saw Adidas freeze my accounts. We saw me get debanked. This is, and you think if that can happen to someone like me, what's happening to all of America? What's right. happening to all the world? 
if you have an opinion, even if you speak up, there's so many people that they just... Hold on, where is Kanye at? Did y'all see that creepy guy just walk behind him? What was he wearing? Where are we at in this video? They work in a regular job and they know if they say anything to their manager, then they'll they'll lose their position, they'll lose their job. Right. You know, they, they tried to destroy me in press. They tried to destroy all of my businesses at the same time. And the world saw it and no one's saying anything. You know, as far as like none of the celebrities, so this just shows you all celebrities are controlled. You don't see no celebrities talking about the Balenciaga situation. You show right? them. So that just shows you all of these celebrities out here. Don't let them influence you in any way because they're controlled by the people who really influence the world. There's no such thing as a celebrity influencer. That is mm. that all these people they don't they're not serving god if they serve god then believe what they're talking about yo y'all think kanye spitting some real stuff right there you ever wonder what the last words of satanists are on their deathbeds the man you see right here is anton levey he is the founder of the church of satan in america and on his deathbed he said something that was a little frightening these are his last words oh my oh my what have i done there's something very wrong there's something very wrong there's something very wrong and on his deathbed, he must have got some revelation or an angelic um, appearance or something. And he went into shock and he said, oh my, what oh I my, done? what have I done? He said, there's something very wrong. This is another famous occultic Satanist from the early 1900s. He is known as the father of the New Age movement and also the father of the sexual and culture counter-revolution in the 60s and 70s and also the drug revolution. This man's name is Aleister Crowley. He's an occultist, a warlock, he's been in many cults and he created his own cult as well. According to witnesses, before he died he would pace around his room. He looked frightened and worried. And these were his last words before he died. I am perplexed, aka I am confused. Hmm. Yo, that's trippy. <laughs> this archaeological discovery is going to blow your brains out. The Bible says that Noah's Ark after the flood came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. And where was this large boat-like imprint found? On the mountains of Ararat. But this next oh, fact Zanus will leave Ark. every atheist speechless. God told Noah to build the Ark 300 cubits long. That's 515 feet. And when archaeologist Ron White and his team turned up and measured this large boat-like feature. How long do you think it was? You guessed it. 515 feet. Oh man, is that Noah's Ark, y'all? Is that Noah's Ark right there, or is that just some crazy coincidence? Um, the biggest lies of the U.S. government, um, it's not what it used to be. It used to be so sick and about the people and about freedom and all that shit, but now it's just bullshit. Now it's a fucking reality show, and uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of weird shit that happens within our lifetime and within our generation that that really changes the the way of the world. So move somewhere because whenever martial law is declared, you have fucking or whenever the credit cards fail, whenever your cards fail, whenever your banks fail, and you can't use your fucking card anymore, what is happening you have three now? days to get out of where you are because that's when they're coming for you. That's the big move. That's checkmate right there. And they think they have you. But move out to the country, get your scraps, stand up for yourself, build a tower, build a long road to where you can see them coming. Don't give up. He's saying go to war with these mobs. That's what he's saying. What you must understand is, you know, um, when you do sell your soul, you are allowed to live forever. Boss, so I've watched a lot of Orlando Brown videos, and I'm not going to lie. A lot of this stuff that he says kind of makes sense. And you'd kind of push it off to the side because you think this dude is just crazy. But I mean, I feel like a lot of crazy people actually be having some truth behind the stuff that they be saying. Just like schizophrenic people. I think they actually see something that we just can't see. And these people that are called youngins, rookies, new bullies, like I was, had no idea that these people still live. Mm. They will pray, haunt, kidnap, anything to stay on top. 
This is their world. They have nothing but time is what they believe. Now, who are we talking about? We're talking about everyone that's supposed to be dead. Like, it's it's a... There is in a the world, industry. In the industry. Okay. You know, when you when you know when you walk around with the with the with the fake face and sh you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So we're gonna open up. It's like it's like this is not an industry. Y'all think Orlando Brown be saying some real stuff? Yo, or y'all so think it's just heard about crazy? this whole Andrew Dawson thing about this guy disappearing, getting taken out by the CIA because he was on something. I literally have goosebumps right now. I want to show you guys something. All right, so I found the coordinates of where he took the picture. I marked it here oh, with his name, so I don't you forget. Did some research, but it was right around the Cedar Side. You see Cedar Side here behind this star, Cedar Side Regional Park, which means that if he was on this road looking this way, which he was, it would have been over on this mountain here. So when I scroll in. To this mountain and if you guys remember what the pictures look like you see this road here but if you remember what the pictures looked like there was like a building with two antennas look at this shit what's that what is this a tall figure and the building with two antennas Yo, what the that's fuck? crazy strangest unsolved mysteries from every u.s state part two florida mm. In 1951, authorities found the remains of a 67-year-old woman named Mary Reeser. When they found her, Mary's body was almost entirely made of ash, and it was clear she died in a fire. However, police noticed that the apartment that Mary's body was found in was practically untouched, and the only things that were actually burnt was Mary's body and a little bit of her surroundings. This absolutely mm. baffled scientists, because for a body to be burned in the ashes the way that Mary's body was, it needs to be burnt for three hours in a 3,000 degree fire. And it is literally impossible for a fire that big to leave the apartment practically untouched. While some believe that she died as a result of spontaneous human combustion, even today, scientists mm. have no official explanation as to how or why Mary died. Deep fakes are going to become a major problem. That's a good question. For example, take a look at this TikTok account. At first, you might recognize this girl as Charlie D'Amelio, but that's where you're wrong. This is some random girl slash company that is using Charlie's face without permission to promote their brand. A deep fake oh, wow. is an advanced filter that takes all of your pictures and videos on social media to make a mask of your face that can be put on anyone's body. Take a look at this example from a public address Obama put out. You see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. While deep fakes mm. in politics could be a dangerous thing, what's more scary is what they can do to you. 96% of all deep fakes watching. are used for porn. There are websites dedicated to these types of videos and it's not just celebrities that are at risk. If you post to social media, you could become a victim as well. People can pay money to have one made of someone they personally know. Creators of these oh, videos take away wow. the victim's control of their own face and use it for something they never wanted. These videos can then be used for revenge, blackmail, or to ruin someone's life. And as of now, there's not much we can do to stop. What happened to the Roanoke car? Don't take my face, The year face, is 1587. Please. Two men by the names of Sir Walter and John White embark on the second all-time mission to colonize America. They land at Roanoke, which is an island in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. They bring 117 other colonists with them. Of those colonists, 91 were men, 17 were women, and 9 were children. Sometime in very late 1587, colonies started to run out of supplies. Leader John White opted to make the treacherous journey across the pond back to England. Now keep in mind, this is the late 1500s. There's no airplanes to make a cross-continental trip in under seven hours. The journey for John White to go from America to England back to America was a three-year trip. It also wasn't good three that years. England was in a war with Spain, which halted his trip. It is now sometime in August of 1590. John White returns with a few more colonists. However, every single colonist that was left at the Roanoke colony is gone. No footprints, no blood, just gone. The only clue was the word mm. Croatone, which was carved into one of the trees. To this day, nobody knows what happened oh, to the yeah. Roanoke colony. What y'all think happened to the Roanoke colony? Mysterious photos that can't be explained. Mm. In 2014, two Dutch students, Lisanne Froon and Chris Krimmers, went missing after going on a hike in Panama. Ten weeks later, their backpack was found in a rice paddy, but it was completely dry, and inside was a camera with strange pictures on it from the time they were missing. Two months after that, authorities found bone fragments from both Lee San and Chris, but to this day, no one knows what the pictures mean or what really happened to the girls. Now you might mm. think holding a plane for ransom and then escaping mid-flight without anybody noticing is impossible, but in 1972, Dan Cooper 
did just that. So Mission Cooper hops impossible, onto a plane huh? in Portland bound for Seattle, slipping a note to the flight attendant and telling her he has an explosive. The airline agrees to his demands of approximately 1 million US dollars today and four parachutes to be ready on their arrival in Seattle. And they do all of this with the other passengers none the wiser. Once he gets his ransom, he lets all the passengers off the flight and then tells the captain that they're flying to Mexico, but the first they're going to stop off in Nevada. Now when they arrive in Reno, Nevada, that's when they notice that he's not on the plane anymore. At some point, he managed to jump out of the plane without anybody noticing. I mean, how does that even happen? There's like air pressure and etc, etc. The last lead was in 2017 when they found a parachute strap in one of Cooper's potential landing sites. But other than that, they've never been seen or heard from again. Yo, that's probably like the smartest criminal Strangest unsolved around. mysteries in every U.S. state. Part 6, Illinois. During the 1940s, police received more than two dozen cases of a strange gas in Illinois. Oh, the people no. in the cases generally reported smelling a weird, putrid odor in their homes that caused them to feel nauseous, cough, vomit, and even be paralyzed for days. No Man, physical evidence state, was huh? ever found inside any of the homes. To this day, no one knows if it was a chemical attack or an instance of mass hysteria or something else. I never heard about that though. Living here Creepy my whole Unsolved life. Mysteries Part 1. In 1959, nine ski hikers went on a trip in the Ural Mountains. It was located in Russia, and on their last night, they set up camp and had dinner. But that night, when they went to bed, they were never found again. They had sent a rescue team, and when they finally found the group's tent, it was ripped open from the inside with footprints everywhere. Some of the footprints were boots, socks, and bare feet, which is weird in cold weather. They followed the tracks and found two bodies, which were just completely naked in their underwear. Over the next couple of months, they found the rest of the seven bodies. One body had brutal force to the head like it was beaten. Some even had chest fractures. They said the injuries to those bodies were equivalent to people who got into car crashes. One body was even missing its tongue, eyes, and lips. While another body had strange high radiation on its clothes. Was it aliens? A science hmm. experiment gone wrong? A crazy tribe attack? It's still a mystery to this day. What do you think? Comment below. And like this video if you want a part two. Yeah, comment below. What do y'all think? I mean, it could I wanted to have a little fun, so here are three theories that make you think. The lines on detergent caps are higher than they should be, so you use more detergent for each load of laundry, so that you have to buy more of their product. And it's the that same thing sense. for the amount of toothpaste you see in ads. You don't actually need to use that much, you only need to use a pea-sized amount. There's a theory that Swiper and the map are in cahoots. Think about it. How does Swiper always know where Dora will be, and who is telling Dora where to go? I'm looking at you, Matt. And last oh, but not least, blowing. the Department of Transportation bought way too many orange barrels, so most of them have to be stored on highways. Do any of these sound true to you? Let me know in the comments. 300,000 babies were stolen from their parents in Spain between 1939 and the 1990s by a secret network of doctors, K? nurses, priests, and nuns. Here's see theories that are either totally true or straight up dumb. Part one. In Southeast Europe, there lies a country named Bosnia. A group of complex hills can be found there that have come to be known oh, as pyramids. the Bosnian Pyramids. Yeah. Now, they appear to look very similar to the well-known Pyramids of Egypt. Now, scientists claim that the hills are just naturally triangular shaped and not man-made at all. However, some wild theorists have started to claim that the hills are in fact man-made with the help of extraterrestrial beings. Pretty wild, right? And comment down below and let me know what you think of these. Strangest unsolved cases from around the world, England. On April 18, 1943, four boys were searching for bird's nests when they looked inside a hollowed witch elm, and what they saw staring back at them was a human skull. Investigators would find a skeleton, a wedding ring, and a shoe, and inside the skull's mouth was a crumpled up piece of taffeta, suggesting she died by suffocation. And then in 1944, the graffiti began, suggesting that someone knew who she was, and it's been theorized she was killed because she was a spy and it was wartime or that witches sacrificed her in a ritual but to this day no one knows who she is or who killed her Paul McCartney died in 1966 and was replaced by an imposter according to this theory. The gist of the theory is that on November 9th, 1966, after an argument during a Beatles recording session, Paul went speeding off in a car and ended up in a car accident resulting in his death. The then the clone, UK yeah. agency MI5 had him replaced with a lookalike. The reason he was replaced was because of fears of mass hysteria and suicide if the news broke. Over the years, the Beatles felt bad about the cover-up and decided to leave clues in their album covers and songs. On the famous cover of Abbey Road where the Beatles are crossing the street, people came up with the theory that it's a funeral procession. John dressed in white as the preacher. Ringo dressed in black as the undertaker. 
George is dressed in blue jeans because he is the gravedigger, and Paul is wearing a black suit like a corpse. He is also out of step with the others and barefoot, which is a sign of mourning in Sicily. In his right hand is a cigarette that's pointing towards the ground, and in the 1960s, cigarettes were known as coffin nails in the UK, representing that the real Paul is in a coffin in the ground. That is just one of the many clues that have been found since the series began in 1969. Here's the mystery of the one. Umbrella Man. Okay, so I this like is kind of like a part two to the one that I posted yesterday about the babushka lady. Because they're essentially the same thing, but it's a little bit of a quirk. The date is November 22nd, 1963. The date that JFK was assassinated. JFK's motorcade passes through Dealey Plaza. Standing on this side is the babushka lady, like I said yesterday. However, on the other side of the road is a man holding an umbrella. He was given the pseudonym Umbrella Man. It's normal to have an umbrella. Umbrella, not on a bright and sunny day where it was 70 degrees in Dallas, Texas. And here we go where things get weird. Right as JFK's motorcade was about to pass the Umbrella Man, opened his umbrella. Some people believe that this is a signal for the first shooter to shoot, and it is presumed that this is Lee Harvey Oswald. And right when JFK passed him, the Umbrella Man panned his umbrella from east to west, which would have been clockwise. And then right after that, the President of the United States was assassinated. As the motorcade sped away, the Umbrella Man sat down on the sidewalk with another man, and then got up and went to the Texas School Book Depository. What do you think? The strangest, I and I do know. mean strangest, unsolved mysteries from each state. Today we have Mississippi. And the story is long with a lot of information, so keep up and pay attention. This is a picture of Christian Andreacchio when he was 21 years old on February 26, 2014. He allegedly killed himself. Allegedly, but I don't believe he actually did. He was from Meridian, Mississippi, and worked on the Magnolia Marine in Vicksburg, Mississippi. The Magnolia Marine is a huge boat and basically a transport system. He was the manager and made quite a bit of money, at least to buy jet skis, two cars, and have enough money left in his bank account. Now, he was 21 okay. and he was dating a 17-year-old girl named Whitley Goodman. Whitley did not have a good home life and she actually had to move in with Christian and his family, but his family really did not like it and they said that she had to leave. So Christian and his good friend Josh got an apartment together and of course he said that Whitley could stay with him. He also said that Whitley could drive his BMW. Christian's job required him to be on the water 30 days straight at a time. Right before he left on February 22nd, him and Whitley started getting into really big fights and he said that she had to move out and she couldn't drive his car anymore. When he was on she the boat, he started getting it. upsetting calls from his friend. Part two is on its way. This is why you should never go hiking on Dead Mountain. Be warned, this is one of the most scariest true stories ever told. Never heard and of even to this day, 60 years later, remains one of the most unsolved mysteries ever. This is the story of the Dyatlov Pass incident. The year is 1959 at the height of the Cold War. Nine Soviet university students decided to go hiking in the frozen Siberia. So as they're hiking, families start to get worried because they have not heard from their loved one. They send a team out to search for them and they find their campsite on the height of Dead Mountain. Here's where the conspiracy theories come. Their bodies, all of them, were found in the most random places on this mountain. And even scarier than that, every single one of these people you see were found undressed. And a couple of them were found with their eyes and tongue cut out. Some oh, people no. believe that these people may have found a military weapon and the Soviets killed them. Some people believe this was some kind of UFO incident. And some people believe that this was some kind of Yeti attack because all of their stuff on the campground was untouched. Unsolved Mysteries Part 1. In 2011, divers were searching the Baltic Sea when they came around this big, huge rock circular formation. It's all type of stuff under stairs the sea. and even creepy entranceways. Under some the believe sea. it's some type of experimental ship from World War II. Strangely, it's made out of magnesium, iron, and titanium. And there's a strange 40 megahertz signal coming from around it. Could it be aliens? Could it be our ancient ancestors' technology? Scientists still don't know to this day, and it baffles them. What do you guys think it is? I'm and like this video for part two. It just doesn't technology. make sense. This case is weird. Phoebe Hansjuk was found dead in her Melbourne, Australia apartment building in December of 2010 at the bottom of a trash chute. Police said she was intoxicated and decided to climb into the chute on the 12th floor to fall 130 feet down to kill herself. Ooh, but they that. didn't test the blood that was found in her apartment that she shared with her boyfriend, didn't look into the unexplained bruising on her body, didn't even question how she could have gone into the chute, which was three feet off the ground with her jeans around her knees. And when the scenario was exactly replicated with someone sober, it was almost impossible. So mm. how did Phoebe get into a 14 inch opening feet first without leaving any fingerprints on the outside of the chute, all while intoxicated. This is Sounds like somebody put her there. That Britney Spears was working for President George Bush. Whoa. Basically, anytime George Bush had a scandal, Britney would do something crazy that would cover it up. On January 5th, 2004, President Bush was trying to distance himself from the Valerie Plame scandal. So Britney had a wild 55-hour marriage to Jason Alexander. 
April 11th, mm. 2006, Bush's approval ratings hit an all-time low of 38%, mainly due to the Iraq War. Instead, the news is covering Britney's visits from child welfare. February 2007, President Bush announced the reformation of Al-Qaeda, who he promised to hunt down and eliminate after 9-11. Enter the famous Britney meltdown. If you look into this more, That's you'll see a crazy. few more examples. So, was she forced to do this by the government? Did she work for Bush? Or does this just show America's obsession with pop culture? Probably over all government of the issues. Above. We should just trust our president in every decision that he makes, and we should just support that, you know? And um, be faithful in what happens. Nah. Yo, those TikTok conspiracy theories were crazy. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.